I'm sure you know that sound. 75 years ago, they were digging the foundation for the Deeds Carillon, named in honor, of course, of that prominent and influential Dayton family. Well, today it has grown into a Dayton icon. Caring for the Carillon is a tall order, but it is an example of what is working to preserve our history. It looks and sounds like the Gym City. It's, it's the anchor point, probably one of Dayton's most recognizable symbols. And so we want to make sure it stays around, so maintenance is very important. Talk to me about caring for the Carillon. It's, it's, a, it's a big job. Drone video from Moody View's aerial photography provides a 21st century look at this historical treasure. We are perched 100 feet off the ground, about 50 feet from the top of Deeds Carillon, which has stood here since 1942. We're, we're sitting on top of the plane cabin, and of course we're surrounded by the bells, 57 bells here at Carillon. Brady Crest is president and CEO of Dayton History, the private organization responsible for its preservation, and the work starts from the inside out. Oh, wow, that is a tight fit. It's tight. <laughs> this elevator, not open to the public, was part of an update in 1988. 100 feet. 100 feet is the climb, takes about four minutes. Yeah. It's how the inspection crew with the Verdon Bell Company in Cincinnati gets a look at the Carillon, part of that 1988 installation. The Carillon went from an electronic to a traditional system, meaning the bells are played manually from here by the Carillonur. However, an iPod-like device can also be used to queue up daily on-demand concerts. The bells are inspected and tuned every year. The Carillon Tower has a steel frame faced with Indiana limestone and a granite base. We have to deal with the expansion and contraction of the stone itself and, and of the joints, you know, because the, the stone is just a veneer on the steel structure. Overall, Crest says it's holding up well. They do regular walkthroughs and keep track of cracks like this one. Uh, we monitor if that's growing or not and want to make sure that, uh, as, as you can see, in some of these other places where we've, we've caulked the joints. He says the next project will be to replace the roof of the Carillon. I've just enjoyed it. Richard Cruson is a native Daytonian. The Gem City has many, many wonderful treasures, and the Carillon is one of them. He says Deeds Carillon is like family and wants it treated as such, so it's here for generations to come. It's a rarity. Very few communities have anything like this, and we want to take care of it. That was fun. And Deeds is the largest carillon in Ohio. It was designed by the same architects of Rockefeller Center in New York City, as evidence in its Art Deco design. For more behind the scenes photos and video, there is so much to share, including a rare look inside the basement. You can visit our website, WDTN.com, and click on this story.